What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB High Five video with your boy. It is Friday. I am incredibly excited for this Friday slate. Uh, we've had a very, very solid week, man. DFS has been dominating this entire week. Had another, I had a six thousand dollar day on Prize Picks. Another huge day sweeping, going eight for eight the other day. It was a huge day for us over there on Prize Picks then as well. So just excited to continue this hot streak up and just you know have another sweep day on Prize Picks, make another over five k. I swear it's been I made like twenty thousand dollars playing Prize Picks the last like two weeks, three weeks. So it's been pretty crazy. Uh, it's been fantastic. And it's all because of the tools at GreenlightDFS.com. I'm not even going to lie. And that's what makes me so proud about them is that I use my own tools to have this much success playing it. So it's been awesome. I'm hoping you guys have the same success. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. You get everything. You get access to all of the tools, uh, lines, prize picks, favorite prize picks, all that stuff when you join for whatever sport you're joining for. Uh, tonight's an exciting night because we're going to have both NBA and MLB. So a lot of ways to make some money tonight. Excited to get into it. Not going to keep up too much of your time. You guys know how I like to do. I like to come in, make it short and sweet, and uh, you know, head on out. So first and foremost, let's talk about pitching. Um, so so far this morning at the the you know the early looks that I've had my kind of way I like to go today is one thing I'm noticing and there's a couple value options that are fine options uh so you can definitely spend up for the Joe Musgrove, Severino, whatever. Um Joe Musgrove is my favorite overall pitcher on the slate. He is in a very good spot at home in San Diego. Colorado's a low total. Normally they are not very good on the road at all. Um, so it's a good spot for Joe Musgrove, don't get me wrong. One thing I've noticed, though, is there's a lot of really good mid-range pitchers. Uh, Strider has, his K rate has been ridiculous. Only negative on Strider is that he walks guys, you know what I mean? Now, this matchup against Pittsburgh is fantastic. Uh, he's at home in Atlanta. His K rate is super high. Pittsburgh strikes out a lot. Strider's at 7K, uh, just a solid spot for him value-wise for me. Uh, so I really, really like going Strider. There's multiple ways that you can go uh, go here, though. I mean, you've got Strider. Um, let me mention the guys I like. I like Musgrove at the top notch. And then most of my way I've been going is uh, either going up for a Musgrove and then a mid-range or two mi mid-range. So far, that has been what I've kind of been liking. I think two mid-range are going to be a takedown tonight. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. Because really, you've got Joe Musgrove. Joe Musgrove could go for 20, whereas all these mid-range guys could also do the same thing. I feel like Tristan McKenzie, Strider, Gibson, Ga uh, not Gallon, he's priced up. But all these mid-range guys could match Joe Musgrove, no problem. But if you have the money, the safety of Musgrove feels good for cash games especially. But for the, you know, for the high five, I'm going to go to mid-range. All right. And I really like Tristan McKenzie and Strider. Um, now, here's the thought process here on this. All right. We've got Tristan McKenzie is in a fantastic spot. Solid K rate going against a bad Oakland offense, plain and simple. This is just not a very good offense at all. Okay. Now, Actually, I wanted to talk about another guy that I actually didn't put in here. And I want to go a couple 7K guys. I just realized I want to go a couple 7K guys. Now, the guy I want to match with Strider. Now, McKenzie is the 8K ranges guy that I prefer. Okay, but if you want to save even more for the high five, I am going to be saving a little more because you'll see why um, my favorite offense you're having to spend some money on. And I, but I think they go crazy tonight. Um, Kyle Gibson or Jose Barrios. Those are the two guys that I really feel good about. I'm going to lean Kyle Gibson just very, very slightly. Very, very slightly. And the reason being is because Gibson is gets the at-home matchup and he's 400 cheaper. Um, I have him projected slightly over for that exact reason. Kyle Gibson's at home. He's got a good matchup against Arizona. He's $400 cheaper, but Berrios is a solid option. It just scares me a little bit. Every, th every box is checked for Berrios, except for the fact he's on the road in Detroit. Outside of that, every box is great. So like I said, we just have a ton of options in the mid-range. So for the high five, I'm going to go Strider and Gibson. All right, both fantastic matchups, cheap, uh, decent K rates. What's Gibson been at? Gibson, let's look at Gibson real quick. All right, Gibson, it has a, uh, pull him up real quick if I can find him. All right. Gibson so far, obviously, you prefer righties against him. Lefties, he doesn't have a huge K rate against. 
Uh, and obviously, Arizona can run out Varsho, Rojas, Peralta, Smith, Thomas, all these guys. Marte will bat lefty. Uh, so they're going to run out a good bit of lefties. But I just feel safe with this. This is like the the two pitchers that you can go with that feel pretty damn safe to get you just the bare minimum that you need. And then if your bats go off, they're great. So I would say Barrios probably has higher upside because of the K, uh, K rate that Barrios could give here in this matchup. Uh, Barrios, on the other hand, is over 24% to lefties and righties. And you're just not scared of any possible bats on this Detroit team too much. But I don't like that it's in Detroit. That's my only thing. But I do love the fact that Barrios is pitching for my favorite offense on the slate. And I'm going to get to them in a second. But there's many options you can go. But Strider and Gibson feel pretty damn safe. It's just like going to get us the bare minimum, what we need. And then if our bats go off, it's takedown season. So at the hitting spot, here we go. I'm going to talk about two of my big spend guys that I really love. And then we'll talk about a value guy and the reason why I'm not you know, adding to my stack on one of these guys in a second. Bo Bichette and uh, George Springer are my two favorite guys to go with here on my Toronto stack. I love Toronto here. Um, I think they're just absolutely going to destroy in this matchup. If they don't, then it is what it is. I'll take my L. But uh, I really love Toronto. The problem, the only issue here with Toronto is you're having to spend a premium on these bats. But I do think they could possibly have one of those days where they score over 10 runs. Um, they're, you know on the road so they'll be getting that extra bat for sure in the ninth um so that's a good spot as well that's a good thing facing just a bad pitcher vegas has their team total as the highest as well plus my gut just loves them in general the ranking tool has toronto bats at the very very top as the premium guys that you want to get if you're able to um like i said the only negative with them is that you're having to pay an absolute premium for these dudes you know what I mean? So if they do have a down game or don't hit, mul you know, if you don't have multiple of these guys hit home runs, it's not going to be worth it. But Bichette and Springer feel really, really good for me. Uh, at first base, this is the so I would go Vladimir Guerrero, who is my favorite first baseman, but point per dollar wise, I got to go Rowdy Tellez. Rowdy Tellez is in a fantastic matchup here. He's got the lefty-righty matchup. He's only 3-6. We know the type of power he has. This is a double-dong type of guy. Going against Fetty who has given up, had some power issues versus lefties. So Rowdy Tellez, fantastic matchup here. Um, absolutely love this spot here for Rowdy Tellez. as a power bat uh, to pair in to kind of give me the value to get the Toronto guys. Let's talk value, guys, because you might want some value bats. Um, most of the time, as you guys know, I prefer to make sure you get the pitching you want. So if any of these guys scare you or... Uh, or you like you really like one of them and you're kind of questionable on the second, going up to Musgrove, the safest option on the slate, is fine with me. And let's talk about the value that you're going to have to get if you do that route. All right. So sorting point per salary, the biggest value, guys, that I want to talk about. I want to talk about Ezekiel Duran. Duran's in a fantastic matchup here going against the White Sox. He's a righty going against a righty who gives up a ton of power. This dude has struggled a lot versus righties. It's a reverse split situation here. Um, this dude's given up a 400 average. It's a small sample size, but he's given up a 400 batting average, a 300 ISO, a 510 wOBA. But guys just get on base left and right against this dude. He's not going to last long in this game. So remember, you're going to get one, maybe two bats out of them against this bad guy. But they're probably going to put up a good amount of runs versus him early. Um, I like Duran as a value guy at only 2K. Um, other guys that I could definitely go with. Um, let's talk about Rufnet Odor. He's a power bat value. A lot of times when I go with my value guys, I like to get a guy who has that home run potential because at the end of the day, if he gets a base hit, cool, I'm happy. He's under 3K. It is what it is. I'll take it. If he gets a zero even, I can still survive because he's a value guy. Um, but if he hits a home run, you're looking at immediate takedown watch. And lately, um, I've really been focusing on getting the value guys that have that home run potential. And Rufnet Odor has double dong home run potential. All right. So it's, it's a fantastic matchup for him. He's got the lefty-righty matchup. Good spot here for Rufnet Odor as a value guy to get in there um, for home run potential and really put your upside big time. Um, who else do we have here today? Um, those are the main two guys that I've really looked at. Oscar Gonzalez in the outfield, obviously, at Bearman 2K as well. So we have a few value guys that you could really go with. So if you're scared about this, then I completely understand. You can go up from one of these guys to Joe Musgrove, get a little safer. Uh, pick your safest one that you like in that 7K range. 
um, and then pair them up with Joe Musgrove and then grab these value guys that I've just talked about. Pair them up with your favorite stack of the day. The main stacks that you're going to want to go with, you're going to have to pay for. Now, my favorite value stack is going to be Baltimore. Uh, I mean, you've got Austin Hayes at a good price. You've got Mount Castle always priced good. Um, all of, the, of their bats are under 5K. Um, so... And, and their total's pretty good, and they got a solid matchup here as well. So Baltimore would be my favorite value stack that I would go with if you want to just spend up on both of your pitchers. Let's see what you would do there. Um, if you're wanting to spend up on both your pitchers and just say, screw it, I want to make sure I'm the safest I can possibly go. So you're spending up for a Musgrove and a Severino or a Musgrove and Gallon or Musgrove McKenzie. If you're spending up for both of your guys to get the safest possible bet you can go with, you're probably not going to get a ton of Toronto. You're probably going to get one, maybe two. Um, so pairing up with them, going like a Baltimore stack paired with them, maybe like a 4-2 you know, or something like that um, is, is cool. So whatever you want to do. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me as always. Good luck today. Prize picks for today. The MLB prize picks for today are already posted on the MLB access page. We've got some prize picks that we love, some uh, first inning score picks that we love. Um, as uh, just a reminder, that no run first inning tool has been fantastic. Uh, it has been awesome. It is added. It's an awesome tool that we have added to the site. Give you an idea on the best first inning score plays to play on Prize Picks or whatever betting site that you're using. So first inning score has become incredibly popular, and uh, getting that tool out there and really helping people make money on that too has been awesome. And I've been having a ton of fun with, with it as well. So I've been mixing and matching pairings, uh, power play pairings over on Prize Picks, and having a lot of success with it using the uh, uh, no run first inning tool. Um, so it's been fantastic. So, but anyways, I'm not getting y'all already know Greenlight's got all the best tools in the world. We've been dominating. Let's get it. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. Have a fantastic Friday, a good weekend, and let's get this money. Peace.